and welcome back campers to another video in our Camp Google Certification class. In this video, we're going to be talking about Google Classroom. Now, if you're not familiar with Google Classroom, it is another LMS. So what is an LMS? It is a learning management system. So what this does is this allows teachers to manage all the different types of digital tools and resources that are out there to get back and communicate back and forth with their students and in some cases, parents as well. So Google Classroom uh, does a really good job of organizing things that are going on in your class, uh, especially in your Google Drive for your students. Uh, students can send you uh, information. You can send out information as well to students. You can assign classwork to students. You can force copies uh, on different types of things, on different Drive apps, which is Google Docs and Sheets and forms as well, and slides. And so you can send this information out to your kids, and this is a great way to hold those uh, classroom discussions. And one of the biggest things is the blended learning aspect. So you get the combination of online and face-to-face -face, uh, learning in that classroom by utilizing Google Classroom. So this is a free program that Google offers for you to communicate with your students uh, on a daily basis. So let's get started and dive right on into Google Classroom. Alright, so let's take a look at Google Classroom. So to get here, I went to classroom.google.com or if you click on your waffle in your drive or on the Google homepage, you'll see the Classroom app as well for you to get to. You can also get to the Classroom app on your iPhone or Android device. So today we're going to actually take a look at creating a class, adding an assignment with Google Drive materials, forcing a copy of those materials, and adding students to your class. Now as we go through this, we'll take a look at some, a couple of other things that won't necessarily be on the test, but it's good to know. So let's dive into creating our first class. So over here at the top of your screen, you'll see the plus sign. So this is where I will actually go to create or join a class. So when I hit that plus sign there, there's, there's, it gives me that option. If I was to join a class, I would actually have to put in a code that comes from the teacher. So when I hit this create a class, it gives me a couple of options here. Name my class, the section number that I want it to be, the subject, and I can also put in the room as well after I've created my class. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually dive into a class that I have already created so that way you can kind of get a more hands-on feel about it. So as you can see here is my dashboard and all the different classes that I have available to me. Over here on the top left of my menu, you can also see all the different classes as well. I have my to-do list. I can create a list of things that I have to do for my class, for each class. And I also have a calendar for each class as well. So when I go in there, this will actually, things that I post and save for things that are due or things that are coming up, that will actually get posted to the calendar. So I'm going to get back to my actual classes here. So I'm going to go back to my RES flight deck. And the first thing you see is my stream here at the top. This is my stream, so think of it like in Facebook as um, I kind of like your home screen of all the different things that are going on. I have my classwork section, and I also have my people section. So we'll cover those here uh, in depth real quick. So any upcoming files, any upcoming uh, things that are due, you'll be able to see this. Students will as well. If you want to add and change your background, you can change all that over here on the select a theme, upload a photo all the information as well. Once again, if I want to get back to my other classes, I click on my menu button here, and that takes me to my other classes in Google Classroom. If I click on Classwork, this is where I'm able to create assignments, questions, materials, or reuse a post, or create a topic. Now I'm gonna jump down here to topic real quick. So topic, think of topics as folders. And so basically that allows me to create a folder, as you can see, teacher, staff, faculty meetings, links to RES resources, emergency procedures, all those are linked underneath 
the different topics. So that way teachers have an easier time of finding them as well, and also your students. So when I click on the Create Assignment, it gives me the option to do several different things. So I can come in here and I can title this assignment, whatever I want to title it. So we're going to go test. And I can provide some different instructions as well in my assignment. I can add different points to it. I can select the due date. I can make the due date anytime I want. Basically, I'm going to say, you know, October 31st is when this assignment will be due. I can even put a time on it. I can say midnight if need be as well. Underneath topic, this is where I can select where I want my assignment to go underneath the folder or the topic. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this one under links to RES resources. Now this is one of my favorite parts here. I can assign this right away or I can actually come over here and click on this drop down and I can schedule it or save it as a draft so that way no one else can see it. And then when I'm ready to assign it, I can assign it for the students. But if I click on schedule, it gives me a time where I can actually send this out later on and not right away. As you can see, I can attach several different things here. Just a regular attachment from my computer. I can attach a YouTube video. I can put in the YouTube search. I can search for all kinds of different things here. I can put in the YouTube URL and it'll embed it as well. I can just add a simple link if I wanted to, to a certain site or a certain um, app or certain anything. Actually, anything that has a link, I can add it there. But what we're going to look at is I'm actually going to add a Google Doc from my drive. So when I click on Drive, it throws me right into my Google Drive. And here are a lot of the recent things that I have uh, available that I've been working on. So what I'll do is I'll put this text quest login out there. And I click on, I'm going to click add. Now over here, this is where I can change it to all my sharing functions. Students can view the file, but they can't edit it, of course, just like in Google Drive and all the other different sharing things. But what I like here is now I can actually make a copy for each student. So what that means is when I click on that, it will make a copy for each student. So they can't mess with any other student's copy or any other teacher's copy. Uh, it also puts their name at the top of it, and then they're able to return it back to me. They can submit it back to me, and it'll have just their information on it as well. Uh, so that's a pretty cool deal uh, about Google Classroom and everybody likes as well. So that is how you would make a copy for each student. And then, like I said, I can assign this. If need be, and I click assign, and then it will actually create that assignment for those students. So I'm not going to assign this because I don't want it to go out and people get alerts and things like that. Uh, if I also, just a little side note, if I wanted to copy this assignment to other classrooms that I have, I can click here and I can actually just go through and check the classrooms that I want it to be copied to. Or I can actually individually assign this assignment to particular students that are in my class. So I like that a lot as well. So I can just assign this assignment to just Amanda Foster and she would get that information from me. So next we're going to actually look at adding people to your class. So when I come over to my people button here, this is where I'm able to add teachers, so if I want to co-teach with someone, or add students, so I can invite students to my class. So if I click on the share button, as you can see, very universal share button here, I click on that, I can type a name, and because they're in my network, or in our domain, I can click on, I can add James Hughes to it, and hit invite. So what this does is it does not automatically add them to the class, but it sends them an invite code to get into the class. So when I click on invite, 
he will get an email and he will be invited to join the class. And then I'm able to, he's able to be a part of our Google Classroom RES Flight Deck. The other way to add students and add teachers to your, or add students to your class is this little gear setting here. If I click on it, it actually gives me the class code that I can use and I can display really big right there so that way other students can see it when they come into my classroom. So then students, like we talked about earlier with that plus sign, they hit the plus sign, they hit the join code, they type that in, they're part of the class. You don't have to invite them as well. So like I said, there's a couple of different ways to invite students into your class. All right, so once again, thank you very much for being a part of this Google Classroom class training, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.